Everybody going to make a living. Everybody going to put food in me, tell me. But you have to, you're a law enforcement, not a policy enforcement. And when actually, laws actually mean. police are policy enforcers, that's why the word police means policy. If you read it, policy. What? They're not officers. No. Law. They're actually policy officers. They're actually, there's no law because this is a corporation. There's only policy officers. Like, like, oh, we're going to, oh, we have to come over here. So, do you have. Uh, so, no I'm going to leave on my own accord. This gentleman is playing on his phone. He doesn't care about constitutionally protected rights like CPR audits. You come in here, your Second Amendment will be confiscated here. Your Fourth Amendment is gone here. They desecrate the flag. They don't care about constitutional protected rights. I, I can come in here with the middle finger and swear to people. This is my First Amendment right. But you can't protest in here. There's no freedom of speech. Your Fourth Amendment is gone. Your Second Amendment is gone. And at the end of the day, these people are going to follow orders. They're not even going to look up the statute that they're here to enforce. They're not going to look up the law. They're not going to look up the policy. I'm assuming this is during COVID. They're just going to follow orders. Why? Why? Because they have no courage. They have no backbone. They're, they're followers. They do what they're told. They would never, ever stand up for what's right if somebody in another position tell them not to. They don't have the courage or backbone to do that. The only reason they're in this position is because they studied for six months. You know, barbers in most states have to study more. These people could not tell me the author of the Federal paper. They could not name more than three. Uh, oh, no, there's no way they could. That's right. You're looking at somebody. That's right. Fake Mike Real News. Millions of views on the internet. Interviewed Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s niece. Interviewed the direct, the guy that created the Jam back. Interviewed award winning CIA whistleblowers. All right, so what's your what name? So we, can your request that? so we can fully request that? Because that's definitely the personal phone. Can I have that one, please? Sure. Could, could I have it? Sure. Okay. What is it? I can't read that. Rudeho? Rudeho? I think it's a root hoe. I well, think that's what, what it says. I, would you tell that? Now it's time to leave, guys. Would Damn. you want to tell us what your name is? And that's what it says. Are you? Tell me your name and then I'll leave. Come on over here, young man. We're, you're running to vote This woman hates the Constitution. She hates transparency. Oh, hey, tell that to the NSA, bro. There's cameras everywhere. Why would you tell that to us and not the police? Why would you? If you're going to stand for somebody, stand for the police. People always want to talk a lot of them, but they won't talk to the police. The police cameras on them, the police search them, but when somebody else got a camera, they're upset. So you're a tyrant, Rudo. You, sir, need to learn the Constitution. You guys need to learn. Man, we don't know our badge numbers. You know what? Say it. And you know what? <laughs> you know what? You, <laughs> you couldn't name more than three constitutional rights. You couldn't tell me who wrote the federal papers. You have yeah. no idea. She just created the flag. I have no idea how to pronounce her last name. Sweet little things, whispering those in his ear. Guys, would you support a national health care for all? Let's let everybody know how you talk to the If everybody only had to pay okay. thirteen hundred a year. If we if, if you give us disrespect, we make me leave. It is time for you. Okay, to I'm right here. Sir, can I help you? Sorry, go ahead. Because uh, guess what? They're gonna say behind that counter. Their feelings are not hurt, so they, yeah. figure, they don't care about. They're not going to call anybody because we're still public lobby. Uh, I actually just don't want to stay next to them. I was trying to leave a long time. Oh, oh, she's getting. Oh, I love that jacket, guys. I'm getting. Hi, uh, guys. Doctor Manhattan. Doctor Manhattan. Let's check him out. Huh? What the hell is that music? Hi. Hello. Hi there. Nice to meet you. San Francisco, is that what that is? Am I being detained? San Francisco no, well, PD. well, you're just officially taking photographs of pig, uh, airplanes flying. I thought you said taking photographs is that illegal? of pigs. No, you're in a public, you're, you're in the sidewalk. Unless you're going on that side, that's fine, but not through here. This is a secure, restricted area. Just yeah, but there. unless I help pedestrians on that, unless that area is not good for you to be contacted. Well, I'm just asking. I'm doing what we call consensual encounter legally. I understand wow. that. So, how long do you have to stay here? Uh, hey, I'm just. Uh, as long as I want. I just came out here to ride my bike. Okay. And uh, see, check it out. Ride my bike. And I noticed this gate is always closed. I was just checking it out because I noticed they, uh, well, you guys had it open. Yeah, so. usually we got the cameras looking out. They're coming out looking at you right now. Nice. There we go. And I got okay. one looking in. Yeah, here. That's all right. Okay, so. Oh. That's just cool. What's been going on? I don't think uh, recording is a, uh, is it's not illegal, is it? 